It's Batchcock Funk. We are here to make today the farmer's daughter. Super fresh, super tasty, and it's coming from the Garden State. New Jersey, we're gonna talk about that a little bit. The star ingredient in the farmer's daughter, right? The farmer's daughter is, is like any beautiful person who grew up on a farm. Bright, tasty, fresh, a bunch of stuff you really want in a person. Uh, and the key ingredient though actually is what we call pork roll. What other people call tailored ham. So it's that and farmer's cheese. But first, the pork roll. Pork roll is this beautiful thing that's caused quite the riff in the mighty state of New Jersey. In some parts in the south, it's tailored ham. In the north, pork roll, or maybe it's vice versa, depending on who you're asking. We like to call it pork roll, but we'll call it Taylor ham. As long as you love this, we still love you, but this is the main ingredient. So you can get it in a tube like this or a red box. So what we're gonna do first, actually, while it's still in the wrapper, is just cut it in half and pop it out of this beautiful can canvas shell it's got. So you've got your pork roll. What you're gonna do is take it and you are going to slice them into cubes, about half inch to a quarter inch cubes, and then you're just gonna fry that up in a pan, which is gonna be real nice. Get a little, little, little bit of a darker coloring on them. We've got our Taylor ham, AKA pork roll, going in a pan. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stuff some Roma tomatoes, right? So what you wanna do is the bottom of them actually can sit up and stand up straight like that. So you wanna set it up so you see how it's gonna go, and at a good angle so it's gonna stay even. At the fattest part, cut the top off. You can save this to make sauces, whatever it is you wanna do. Um, in the meantime, Take a serrated knife and then cut a circle around the inside of the tomato. And then at an angle, you can go through and pop out all the seeds and the thick part of the middle of the core, right? You can use a core too, but this way you get through that. And now you've got the perfect little tomato for stuffing. So we've got a tray that we've already put a bunch of tomatoes into, right? That we've sprayed with cooking spray. Now, let's get stuffing. The first thing we wanna do is we're using farmer cheese, right? Now, farmer cheese is just cold pressed cottage cheese. And it cooks, it's flavor similar to like a ricotta. It's got a nice sweetness to it that adds some value to the saltiness of the meat, which also has a little sweetness to it too. So we're gonna get that in there. We're gonna go about a half pound. Then we're gonna have one pound of roasted asparagus. And you can use any fresh veggies you like, but they gotta be good farm veggies, right? So we also have half of a white onion and the green parts of a green onion in there. And then we're also gonna put in, yeah, some cornbread, right? So the cornbread is gonna be the part of the stuffing that really absorbs all the flavors as the juice from the tomatoes and everything else go into it. So this is the basic part of your stuffing right here. You got the cheese, got everything else we need in it. And now what we're gonna do is when we get our pork roll off of the stove top, which should be making your kitchen smell fantastic right now. We're gonna mix that in there next. Yeah, now we've got, we did a little bit of butter. We've got that beautiful, salty pork roll that we're gonna mix in there, right on top of stuff, and then keep stirring it around till it's this beautiful, juicy, flavorful mess, because you know we like to get messy. Now, with the warm pork in there, you're gonna start stirring it and breaking up the parts of the cornbread and the cheese will start evenly mixing itself the more you just keep turning it. So do that until you've got it good and evenly mixed. Now, we've got our cored tomatoes in a whole tray over here. So one at a time, you're gonna take a spoon and you are just gonna use the back end of the spoon to get it in there nice and stuffed, right? Now, we've got our tray. And what we wanna do with the tray to finish things off before it goes in the oven, by the way, you can freeze this too. It'll stay frozen for a few months. We've got some shredded white cheddar and we're just gonna drape it all over this, right? Press it down a little bit so it sticks into each one. The finishing touch is we are gonna take some dried parsley and sprinkle that over all of it, get some more of that color from the farm on here, right? Get some parsley on every little piece. And then we're also gonna hit it with a little bit of Italian seasoning. Again, a little bit more color, but add something nice to it. And then you're just gonna put it in the oven at 375 for 20 minutes or so until the cheese gets nice and golden. You know how we like it. Oh yeah. Now we've got some perfect farmer's daughters right here. The cheese is melted perfect. It's got this golden brown crust to it that we just love. So you take out your stuffed Tommy right there. Grab a fork and a knife. 
take a slice, get the nice tomato flesh in there. And I've got the perfect bite from the perfect farm. To all the farmers' daughters out there, we love y'all madly. Spatchcock Funk.